My dear students, this is a problem of loss of motion. See the lengthy methods given in the book. Let us bypass these methods and follow a simple logic. What is that logic? So this is a diagram having two blocks and two pulleys. In this, instead of following this constraints method, constraints method is very complex, very confusing it is. Look, a simple logic is tension into acceleration is going to be constant. So TA, AA is equal to TB, AB. You can just see here tension is T, single thread here, here also tension is T, here also tension is T. Because this is a single rope, tension is going to be same. But these two tensions combined together, here tension is taken as 2T, okay, so 2T. So here TA, AA is equal to TB, AB. TA, tension at A is T. Acceleration at A is AA. Tension at B is 2T. Acceleration at B is AB. TT gets cancelled. Acceleration A is equal to 2 times of acceleration B. That's it. So acceleration A is equal to 2 times of acceleration B here. That means acceleration of A divided by acceleration of B is 2. That's it. So simple and very very lovely method this is. My dear students, in this system, one block is hanging, one is resting on the table. How can you find out the coefficient of friction between these two if you know just that this is going to be 8 kg and this is going to be 12 kg. You have to find out the coefficient of friction. It's very simple. Just divide them. It is 8 by 12 is going to be your answer. 4 2 is 8, 4 3 is 12. So coefficient of static friction is 2 by 3. That's it. But the reason you want, why is it so? How many formulas we have to buy hard? It's very simple. He says that the total system is in equilibrium. It is resting. It is ready to slide, but it is not sliding. It is in equilibrium. That means what is the meaning? This is M2G. This is mu S M1G. That's it. So you have to make them equal. Mu S M1G is equal to M2G. GG gets cancelled. Mu S is going to be M2 by M1. That's it. That's what I have done. So simple it is.